taking on those Nashville Honky Tonk stages. No one could be prouder of Amanda Taylor than her mom. But mom's not out there in the crowd. There she is. Paula Jo Taylor. It's Broadway's guitar shredding granny. People will walk in and they'll see me setting up on stage and putting my equipment up and they'll kind of look like, what in the world is grandma doing on stage? And then when I do something like that, they're and she'll start shredding or whatever and then they're like, whoa. Yep, there you go. Hey, okay, there we are. <laughs> All right, girls, can you see me? Yeah. You look pretty. Yeah, you well, I love you guys and I, I Paula Joe's always keeping up with the grandkids, telling them about their Aunt Amanda. So we'll get to see you then, okay? Those were some of the little faces Paula Joe had in her mind when she got difficult news. Stage three breast cancer. I don't know that I really grasped uh, thinking about whether I was going to live or die. It was more about the downtime, not being able to play on stage. To give that up would be extremely difficult. I just went, wow, my, my mom has cancer. Like, that's, a, that's real. After a double mastectomy, Paula Jo spent 18 months going through chemo by day, still playing those gigs downtown by night. <laughs> Neuropathy from the chemo caused a numbness in her fingers. On days that I didn't play my gigs, I would pick up a guitar and keep my fingers going because I thought that was the only way to stay on top of it. Will you sing Grandma the Chicken Nuggets song? <laughs> chicken Nuggets, I like Chicken Nuggets. But between the music and family, there was so much reason to keep going. I think that was a big part of like helping her to, to get through it. Amanda's written a song for her mom, that guitar shredding granny who fought and is today cancer free. What we thought would never happen. Yeah, she's she's definitely she's she's my best friend and she's definitely an inspiration. The only thing that stays the same.